My name is Dan Kane. I'm from Stalls Transfer Express. Today we're going to talk about a couple different transfer types that we offer. Um, we are going to um, talk about how you can maximize your profit um, by using screen printed transfers, uh, whether it be your primary way of decorating or a good secondary option for you. Um, so I'm going to go around the room and just how many uh, screen printers, actual physical screen printers do we have in here? One? Okay. Uh, embroiderers? Perfect, okay. And people that just use or uh, do use some transfers to fill in some jobs. Okay, perfect. So hopefully we could educate you a little more on these. Um, there are different options. I'm having my heat press cooled down right now. Uh, we have a low temp option that uh, it's cooling down to 275 is our elastic print transfer. Then we're going to bring it back up to 350 uh, for our glitter transfer. And then finally 365 degrees uh, for our goof proof transfer. And you all will uh, get to press a shirt in this class, I promise you that. Um, so, uh, to show you this, and we'll touch base a little, uh, more on this in the presentation, is this is the goof proof transfer. So there's one image, I just want to stress there's one image on this sheet here. This is our glitter transfer uh, that was a gang sheet that I cut into individual images. It had the same image on there three times that we cut separately to do for sampling purposes. And this is the elastic print transfer that we're going to be printing. Uh, this is the 275 degrees, great for your performance wear because uh, it goes on at that low temp, doesn't scorch your garment. And as you can see on this sheet, you can't really see the images, but you do see it has three separate images on here. So that's one way that we'll talk about in this uh, slideshow how you can maximize your profits. So uh, basically, uh, we'll start off just with what is screen printing. Screen printing is um, an older, uh, been around for, for many, many years, way of getting a decoration onto a garment. And when we say screen printing, for those of you that aren't familiar, is honestly take your uh, picture your screen door that's on your front door right now. You're actually taking an ink. Obviously, the the screens that you use for screen printing are finer mesh, has smaller holes. But what you're doing is coating those screens with emulsion, burning an image into the screen, then taking a squeegee and putting plastisol ink over that uh, screen to get your image onto the shirt, taking it, curing it, drying it, and voila, you're done. So there are uh, two ways to accomplish screen printing. Uh, the one is we just spoke of, and the other is to take a heat press and use a screen printed transfer, which we're going to show you some samples here uh, in a few minutes and get that going for you. The first advantage and money saver that we say is for embroiders, and I, I meant to ask this at the beginning too, is how many of you uh, outsource screen printing right now to a screen printer? Anyone? Okay. Well, there's ways that um, you could bring it in-house and become profitable uh, and it and not have to turn away any screen printing jobs at all. So if you look at and you're trying to get into uh, screen printing and you want to start doing it yourself, you're looking at a, you know, a rough figure of $16,000 of investment for uh, your own equipment, your own chemicals, uh, your own screens, everything you need, your dryer to do the uh, actual screen printing squeegeeing onto a shirt. You have a $1,500 investment for a heat press machine. Uh, you can get a, a lower cost machine, use machine online. We here at Stalls also offer some uh, less expensive presses. So you're looking at about a thousand to a two thousand dollar investment to bring screen printing into your business and start controlling your own screen printing by using transfers. First thing we like to talk about is no mess. Uh, so we have our character here on the left who is all covered in ink. He's doing the actual process and I can attest going, going back and looking at uh, our production guys after a long eight hour day of, of print and transfers, I can attest that's exactly what they look at, uh, look like at the end of an eight hour day. Where if you look at our gentleman on the right here, he's clean as a cucumber in his living room, still screen printed shirts just by using screen printed transfers in his heat press machine. So there's no mess, you could do it, you don't have to be out in your cold garage in the winter, buy a heater for your garage, bring it all in house, all he has to worry about is where he's going to throw all his pieces of paper, hopefully he bought some stock in hefty garbage bags because he's going to be using a lot of them. Another thing is it's a small learning curve to start using transfers uh, as opposed to um, investing in the screen printing equipment and teaching yourself. So if you if you do choose to go the route of the more expensive equipment, set it up, okay, screen printing is a very uh, old uh, art and it's a, it's a fine art. You, you, some, it takes a long time to get good at it. Um, you need to learn how to coat your screens, burn your screens, set up your press, use your dryer, do all that, uh, clean your screens properly, register everything. Sir, I'm just going to use you because you're a screen printer. You, you didn't learn it overnight, right? Still learning. Still learning. So, you know, um, it, 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 it is, you know, it would take some time to learn. It's still very good art, but 
You know, if you're looking, you can maximize your profit by getting a heat press and putting it in your shop and you're running a little small shop or a bigger store or whatever. A high school kid's coming, he's, he's getting ready to go to college next year and he's looking for some work or a college kid's coming home uh, at the end uh, for the summer and he spent all his money on pizza and beer, everything during that semester, he's looking to, to refund up for the next semester. You could teach someone how to use a heat press in a half a day, two hours, uh, and get cheaper help. Going back to the screen printing, if you do choose to go the route of the screen printing equipment and you're too busy and you want to hire someone, an experienced screen printer, he's going to want what he's worth, which is probably a, a decent penny. So again, if you choose to go the uh, heat transfer route, you could get some cheap labor and teach them how to use it. I just did uh, shirts for my friend's golf outing. It was uh, 150 golfers. And I said, I'll do the shirts for you, but you're coming in to help me. And he didn't know anything about press and transfers or, or what we did. I showed him how I did, I did like the first four. I put him on another press and we knocked them out. So not only is it cheap labor, it's time saving too to use the, the heat transfers. Then folks, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please don't hesitate to shout them out or raise your hand and ask. We're almost ready down, uh, down to our temperature here. This kind of ties into the labor cost of multicolor printing. So if you are screen printing or whatnot, um, we're going to print a couple multicolor logos here. Uh, you have to take the time to set up the screen for your blue ink and then set a screen up for your white ink and however many colors you're doing. You have to do different screens. Take your time and labor to uh, register it, get everything perfect. Whereas heat transfers, you'll see here in about five minutes, we're going to do a two color press in 15 seconds and have that multicolor print without all the time and labor to do that and still get that image on that shirt. Do any of you guys do teams in here, jerseys in the, er, and everything? Okay. Numbering is um, a great way to maximize your profit. Personalization, you know, mom's going to want her kid's number on the back of her spirit shirt. You can add that in. Um, if you look at our screen on the left, if you're doing the, the manual method, you actually have to take each individual jersey, line it up with the number, screen it on, cure it, dry it. Whereas if you look at our, especially if you're doing a two color, like the picture on the right we have here, which is red and white, that's a one step print. So if you're doing the manual method, you have to do the red, you have to do the white, put the red down, cure it, dry it, takes time. Whereas if you're using the transfers, you have the two colors in four seconds. Uh, another thing about the screen printed transfers is, and we'll touch base on this more, is how many times uh, can you imagine, and I'm sure maybe some of you have had this problem where coach comes to you and says, here's my roster, I got 15 players on my team, here's each kid's name, here's each kid's number, need these shirts. So you do the job for them, you go wash all your screens, clean everything up, you're done, coach comes in to pick up the job, and he goes, you know what, Timmy, little Timmy and little Johnny, they just joined the team yesterday, I need two more jerseys, can you do them for me? And it's gonna, you could build this into your profit because you could do them with screen printed transfers a lot quicker than having to go through all the trouble of setting up your screen printed mess again. And you could tell them, hey, you know, yeah, but you're gonna pay for them, you know, this is a lot of work, or he doesn't have to, you know, your customer doesn't have to know that you got the transfers in the back and really it's gonna take you about two minutes and you could charge them, uh, you know, a good, pretty much straight all profit for that job. So that's uh, one good way to put it. This is the biggest thing, and I'm gonna press the shirt before we uh, start talking about it, because we do spend a lot of time on the slides. And this is one of the main reasons why I showed you the uh, one image on the sheet, the cut up gang sheet that had the same images on it, and the multi-image uh, multi gang sheet. Uh, what we do for transfers is you're paying sheet pricing. So you're gonna pay for the sheet, whether there's one image on there or five images on there or three images on there. So um, you're paying for the sheet. What I always say, and you'll hear me say it about 10 times on this slide, maximize your sheet space. Maximize your sheet space because even though you might not need something for that job, you could throw something on there, use it further on down the line, and again, you know, you sell another job on something that you've already priced out adds profit to your job that you're charging them. So let's, uh, we'll press our elastic print here and then we'll touch more base on this. The elastic print, like I said, is very good uh, for your performance wear shirts. It's a 275 degree, 15 second press with a cold peel. So it will not scorch your shirt. And this ink has some stretch to it for those more, uh, you know, the stretchy garments and that polyester. So I'm gonna cut my multi-image gang sheet here. Then I'm going to go down for 15 seconds. Now this is a cold peel transfer. Uh, a lot of people think cold peel 
you got to cool it down for two hours and whatnot. You really don't have to. And the cool thing is if you're doing numbers on this, you could leave the sheet on it and actually take it, turn it, do your number while the transfer is still cooling on that side. You could take them, put them, you know, if you're just doing the fronts, you could take it. If you're doing 20 shirts, just put it to the side, do all 20, go back and start peeling them. Or if you're just doing a short run, what some people do is try to find a cool surface like this, rub it around for a couple seconds, and it cools it down a lot quicker. So you don't have to sit there and wait and everything. So cold peel doesn't mean you got to wait a long time. Just So to touch on that, one of those last slides, a multicolor, that's a two-color screen printed shirt that we did in 15 seconds. And the inks that you're going to press is a, a 365 degree press for four seconds. So I'll pass that around with you. So touching back on this slide that we have up here, the first image I'm going to talk about is the image on the left hand side. So you get a little league come up to you and they say, hey, we want you to do shirts for our baseball league this year. We're going to have 12 teams. Uh, all different teams, but it's going to be the same design, just different wording on the front, like a script tail, which is a very popular uh, baseball layout that we have. So if you look here, we have Tiger softball, Cardinal softball, Indian softball. So you just killed one third of your job with one sheet of paper, okay? And you'll see it, it's, it will fit the images as tight as we can for you, and it's just a scissor cut. So the league doesn't know that you're getting all of them. You could tell me you got to burn different screens for you know all the different teams and everything. Where really it's only four orders of transfers to knock out that whole league. And think of all the profit you could make and how much you could charge them to do that. And we're going to talk about numbers here in a second. But again, it's it's sheet pricing. So you're paying whether it's the same image, like our slide on the right, or different images. The sheet size is 11 and a quarter by 14. I've seen people gang five jobs on one sheet. So if you think about all that profit, you, you build it into everyone's cost and everything, you know, you could do them for cheap for your customer and still make money, or you could charge a little bit more, whatever people are willing to pay, and they don't need to know that you got it on with four other customers' jobs. And it's just so much profit that you can make. So again, I'm gonna say it, maximize your sheet space. Maximize your sheet space. Uh, if you look at the image on the right, it was my glitter t-shirt logo where we had the same image on the sheet. So Tom Geis karaoke is one of my favorite examples. So Tom Geis comes in and he says, hey, I do karaoke at five different bars or venues throughout the week. I want to wear shirts. The bar said that they would wear the shirts to promote my karaoke business. Can you do them for me? I just want a left chest on, the, on our front and then a full back on the back. You say, absolutely, Tom, we can do that for you. Well, you can't think of anything else to put on Tom Geis order. So you say, eh, I still have that sheet space. Let me throw a couple more left chests on there. So you print Tom shirts and you call him up and you say, hey, or he comes to pick him up and you say, hey, Tom, you know, have you ever thought about printing a koozie and then after someone's performance, you give them a koozie with your logo on it and they're out, you know, out, they're having a good time, they're singing and then they get a koozie with your logo on it and they take it to a party or, a, you know, an event and it's free advertisement for you. Or what about a polo shirt with that just a left chest logo on it if you're, if you're going to a nicer uh, wedding venue or whatnot or, uh, you know, a pair of shorts. Anything you can personalize, it's all built into a shirt order. So anything you can upsell them on, you have those extra logos that you could put on the koozies and everything. And I'm telling you, people will pay for them. So you have all those extra images, and then even if you don't, he does. You know, you don't think you could sell them anything. So you do his whole front and then his left chest. So you still have some sheet space. You can't think of anything else to put on there. Well, Halloween's coming up, so throw a ghost clip art on there. Even if you don't use it, Tom Geist is paying for it. But that ghost clip art, someone comes to you with a Halloween design, and you have those ghost clip arts on there, and you say, I can add a ghost on the sleeve for an extra three or four bucks. And they say, oh yeah, that's, you know, we'll do that, that's cool. So that's all just profit, it's building in your profit. So what do we do with our sheets? Maximize. Maximize your sheet space. So any questions on the gang sheets or anything? And I'm in, in a few minutes, I'm going to show you on our designer uh, how you can do it with our uh, stock clip arts and customization and everything. Another time saver and way to make money is no weeding. How many of you guys uh, vinyl cut your own names and everything right now? And you guys weed everything? Used to. Used to. Okay. You have to weed everything out and, and everything. We do individual screen printed names. So again, going back to that Little League, they want names on the back. We send them to you spelled out, you know, Johnson, Smith, whatever, sent out, ready to press right on the back of the jersey, saves you time, adds to your profit, because again, people are going to pay for personalization of the shirt. 
Another thing we like to look at is both Transfer Express and Stall sell letters uh, in different types and styles, glitter flake, uh, basic you know, screen print, whatever. So what we say names and letters are good for is on-site screen printing or on-site printing where you go to a uh, wrestling tournament or a basketball tournament or a state fair and you're doing on-site printing and you have the front of the transfers, you know, the same logo and whatnot, and uh, you're charging $10 for that shirt, whatever you want to charge for it. But you advertise, hey, for $10 more, I could put your name on the back. You have individual letters where you can actually go personalized right on site. And again, people pay for personalization, especially at the, if you go to some of these sport tournaments, you can get in there and little Timmy's mom is going to pay $25 to have little Timmy's name and number on the back of his shirt and their last name. So again, if you, any way, any time you can add personalization to a garment, it's just more profit to put in your pocket. Easy fill-ins, uh, so we've already touched on it where you know, they come to you and say, hey, I had two kids join the team, I need two more shirts. So with transfers, oftentimes it's less expensive for you to get more than less. So if you need, we use this example, if you need 32, coach comes to you and says, I need 32. The way we produce them is it's cheaper for you to get 35 sheets, so we're gonna bump you up to 35 sheets, and you're actually paying less money for 35 sheets than you would for 32. Another thing that I recommend is give yourself a safety net build it into the original cost of the job. So if coach comes to you and says he needs 25, 25 is one of our price breaks, so we'd leave you at 25, but give yourself that safety net order 27 or 28 for the extras, and then again, add it into the original cost of the job, so when he does, which happens a lot more times than you would think, when he comes and says, we just had a couple extras, then it's already built into the price that he's already paid. You could charge him a decent, you know, decent penny to do those, because it's, it's your time and everything, and again, that's all money that's going in your pocket. Our screen prints are uh, durable. You know, a lot of people that, that I speak to go, you know, I used to do transfers years ago and they were iron-ons and they start coming off after two, three washes. Um, our transfers are tested through 50 normal wash and dry cycles uh, with no cracking. Um, it's, like I said, some people hang dry them, some people turn them inside out. We've done them inside out normal wash and dry cycle of the garment and haven't seen any issues. I go back to the production guys. We do events at Transfer Express for like Indians opening day and holidays where we dress as a department in the same shirt. And I, honest to God, I see these production guys still wearing shirts from 2008. Now they have extra ink on them and they look like that cartoon character because they're in production. But the actual image that was on the shirt to begin with is still there, not cracking at all and is very durable. So they do last the life of the garment, just like a screen print. So we're up to 350 here. I'm going to press the glitter transfer. We're winding down with the slideshow. Is there any questions? And I'm going to show, like I said, I'm going to show you a lot on our Easy View Designer, which could maximize your profits as well. So we'll do the glitter. The glitter goes on at 350 degrees. Glitter and bling. I'm sure you saw some classes already that talk glitter and bling are in right now, and people are going to pay for them. So this is just a basic transfer that goes on 350 for 15 seconds with a cold peel that depending on how many colors you do, you could charge your customer 20, 25 bucks and they're gonna pay for it. Uh, no, the glitter transfer has to be with glitter ink. Now you could, if you, if you wanted, if, if, yeah, if you wanted to, uh, to do two different, like if you wanted your logo and glitter and then a number and a basic screen print, you would put your glitter on, then put your number down, put a cover sheet over it, and then you'd be okay. But you can't combine it on, the, you can't combine different inks on the same transfers. So this one again is a cold peel. So I'll let that cool down. Another benefit is speed, is you could charge for the, the amount of time that you're getting these garments done in. You know, screen printers, um, and we're not knocking screen printing in any way in this, in this show, um, but we, you know, screen printers could sometimes put you two weeks out for a job. Uh, we have Easy Prints and Easy Prints Plus pricing. Easy Prints Plus is if you send us your own custom logo, um, that you can't build out of our stock clip arts and, and uh, um, layouts, that's a three-day production. If you can build it out, which more times than that you can, if you can build it out of our idea book um, and layouts, one color designs ship same day before 11 a.m. Eastern. Multicolor designs take two days, and then like we said, the, the custom productions are three days. We ship out of Cleveland, Ohio. We're a two-day ship to anywhere in the U.S. I'm guessing for you guys, we're mostly a one or two-day ship. I mean, we're a two-day ship to anywhere, but for some of you, we might be a one-day ship. So you place an easy print order that I'm going to show you how to design here in one second. If you place an easy print order, one color at 10.30 in the morning, 
it is leaving that building Monday and in your hands Tuesday or Wednesday. So you could have it to your customer Wednesday or Thursday. Quick turnaround times, and that's something that you can add in to the cost. Say, I could have them done for you in this amount of time, but it's gonna cost you a little more. They say, everyone needs, every, everyone needs everything yesterday, so more times than not, they're gonna pay that extra cost to get them done a little bit quicker. So this transfer should be cooled down enough for us to peel. So that's a two color glitter print. Just a basic word with a uh, zebra or tiger pattern in there that the you know young girls and dance teams and cheer teams go crazy for. And they're, and they're gonna pay for it. So we'll pass this one around so you can see. Now it doesn't, it had a little extra glitter because of where I cut it, I had a little orange on there. But this is the logo. And um, this one, it, it has the glitter look, but it, you'll feel it. It has a kind of a, a finish over it. So it doesn't have that gl like grit feel to it. And the last thing we're gonna talk about and show you is about our artwork. So you have at your hands a, a free um, online designer on uh, Transfer Express's website that has over 5,000 clip arts and layouts that you can go onto the website and customize. We also have our idea book here uh, for sale. It's normally $49, we're doing them for $35. It's a marketing kit, you get some cool stuff in it. Now the marketing kit is for your customer who's like me who I'm your customer, I'm not artistic whatsoever. I can't even barely draw a stick figure. I honestly can't. So it's good. that book is good for you to have because we personalize it with your business name. So I come into your store and I say, hey, I need shirts for my basketball team. I coach basketball back in Cleveland. I want to make 15 shirts for my kids, but I don't have the first clue where to start. Now you could have a graphic designer, and again, we could do that as well. Or the easy way to do it is to hand them this book that you have, send them to the basketball section and say, here you go, go through this, pick something, and let us know what you want it to say, how you want it to look. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is actually come over here to our online design tool. This is a free service to you. All it is is a login and a password to our website. So it's your personal, what you do with it. You know, We never want your customers to see anything about Transfer Express, so I'll show you ways that you could hide it. You could do the designs with your customer. It's more for behind the scenes, but I'll show you a way you could do both. So I'm your customer, I come in and I say, hey, I need 15 shirts for St. Clair basketball, what can you do for me? You give me the book, I go through. Do this. It's gonna come up to new design. I told you the layout I wanted. You could look them up by layout number or they're all up, categorized up there. So I go through your book and I choose something simple like this. But I tell you, I want it to say St. Clair Cougars 2015 with a basketball clip art and a cougar somewhere on the design. Can you do that for me? Well, you look at this and you say, absolutely we can. And let me show you how. So this is where you do all your personalization. So you would just come up here to Compton and the team that I coach is St. Clair. So I'm going to go... So is this on the main Transfer Express This is on, website? yes, and it, you need to be a customer and have a login to do it, but yeah, it's right on Transfer Express. You would just go to use our easy view. Okay. So as you see, we changed Compton to St. Clair. Do all your personalization right here. Um, your fonts are here, and it's cool because it actually pops up with the word that you want. So if they told you, you know, be creative with the fonts, you can go through and pick anything you want. So we'll change it to that. I told you I wanted it to say Cougars. We can leave it in that font because it'll give it a show through. It'll give it, if we do a one, we'll do a one color and a two color, but the one color with the show through gives you a two color look as you saw in some of the designs that we were passing around. I didn't want this clip art. I gave you the basketball clip art that I wanted, so I just come over here, hit swap, and it comes up into, um, it's familiar with what kind of design you're doing. But the cool thing is, is you could take that basketball design and turn it into a family reunion design if you wanted to. Be creative and, and go through the clip arts and change it all up. But for my case, I just wanted a basketball. But I told you I also wanted the year and a cougar on it. But there's not enough Texan clip arts. So what you do is you would just come up here, and for our cougar clip art, we'd hit add clip art. 
and you could just search by category up here. So I'll pick the cougar dribble on a basketball. We just want them real small right in the middle of the basketball. You could do that, take the arrows, or come over here and shrink them down. However small you want them, position them in the basketball. Where, where can I put the ear? You just come up here to add new text, move it over to the side. And do your, again, all your personalization right here. So that's how I told you I wanted my design. You saw how easy it was. It took about two minutes to do that customization right there. Now, I don't want it in black. I want it in one color red. So what you could do for your colors is you'll click on whatever you want. And you could come here and go individual red. Or if uh, any of you are familiar with Corel, I call this Corel's little brother. Very easy to use. You could actually just highlight your whole image. Come up here to object group everything together so now it's all one design so if I was to move it the whole design would move and I can't click on anything individual but what you would do there is just come up here change everything to red we just wanted a one color red design we wanted it on a black shirt you could actually change your background color to the color of the shirt okay so we're all done this is what our customer told us they wanted your customer probably wants to see it before they go in blind and order in these 25, 50 shirts from you. So what you could do is come over here to preview and share. And I have uh, stalls, I'll change it to, I'll change that. And then you can actually pick what type of garment they're putting it on. Put it on a t-shirt so you see it has ABC designs up there. You put in your business name or whatnot. You shoot it in an email to them and they say, yeah, go with it. We need 50 of them, that looks perfect. You submit the order to us right online. This is one of the orders where if you submit it before 11 a.m. Eastern, it ships out the same day. Now, a couple other things that we touched on uh, during the slideshow is I'm gonna change back to white. Okay. This gray dotted line here is your sheet space. So what do we do with our sheets? Maximize your sheet space. So let's say I just wanted this as a left chest and a full back. So what I could do Shrink it down to my left chest. So what you're going to do is take a Come up here to object, hit duplicate, take them, this image, we'll change it to nine inches wide. So now we have our full back and our left chest on the same sheet, still with some sheet space to work with over here. So like I said, if you, you know, do a couple more St. Clair Cougars, sell them to the parents or whatnot, put them on something different, maybe talk the coach into doing shorts as well because you probably, could probably get enough to go on there. That's all profit. Or like I said, Christmas is coming up, throw a Christmas tree on there, throw, it, throw a snowman on there, whatever you can to try to sell to personalize because the transfers don't go bad. I just pulled a transfer out that was two years old that was sitting under my desk, pressed it on, it goes on fine. So put something on there that you might be able to use further on down the road and add profit to your job. Mix and match. So we, have, we do this a lot. So was the art we have on file already, could we copy and paste into there? No, you would have to upload it to us and then we'd be able to produce it. And then if you wanted to save something that you know you could implement into our easy views, you could save it as a custom clip art after your first order. So if like a school, just to stick with the Cougars theme, like if a school has a, a, a custom Cougar that you can't find in our clip art, then you would just upload us that file and you know you're gonna be doing a lot of business with that school. For 50, after you place the custom, the Easy Prince Plus order, you call us up and say, hey, I want to save that Cougar as a custom clip art. It costs you $15 for us to touch it up, save it. It saves under your account and your account only. And then um, it would be here. Now, we only have our Transfer Express logo, but what you would do is click on this arrow at Add Clip Art, and it would say for my custom clip art, and then all your custom clip arts that you have saved would show up there. Then you can implement them into the designer. But the first time, you can't. Um, another thing that's cool is we talked about same image gang sheets and we still have the, the take that time guys logo that I was doing so that's pretty much almost the same setup and like I said you still have this area to work with so you know put mom on there or something so you can just do a, a personalized shirt for mom or whatnot or I'm the basketball coach and I tell you I only need left chest logos okay so I'm going to delete 
the large logo. And I tell you, I need 100 of these. That's why you, want to make sure you could, again, duplicate your object and set up your own sheet. Or if you come over here, pick what type of fabric you're putting it on and type in your quantity. We needed 100. Okay, so it pops up. It tells you you're going to pay $3.71 per sheet, 62 cents per image. But if you look up here, you're going to save $2.27 total by ordering 20 images, 20 more images, or I'm sorry, 18 more images. Because right now, the way you have it set up, you're getting 102 images. So it costs you less money to get 18 more images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. So right now, your total price before I change it is 6307. If I change it to 120, your price just went down to 6080. Now you're paying 51 cents an image, three dollars and four cents a sheet, and you can upset, like I said, upsell the coach with the extra images that you might have. <coughs> and then if you come here to review, order, and add to cart, it shows you exactly how we're going to set up your sheet for you. So we're just going to get six on there. Now, last thing I want to touch on, then we'll get you up here pressing a shirt, is I'm the basketball coach and I only need left chest images. And that you could do this with restaurants and schools or just customers in general. But for schools, it works as I'm the basketball coach, I go to the hockey coach or the wrestling coach, sports going on in that season, and say, if you have the account with the school or whatnot, you go up and say, hey, I'm doing, I go to the hockey coach, I say, I'm doing shirts for the basketball team, why don't you do something for the hockey team? The good thing about schools is normally they're the same color. So the hockey coach says, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I still have all this sheet space to work with, so I could come take the book to the hockey coach. Find a hockey logo that he likes, bring it into that sheet, and do all the personalization again. I'll, I'm going to leave it as eagles, just kind of as demonstrations here. But if you change it to red, so now you have two jobs on one sheet. So think of all that profit you can make still with room to put something else on there. Say the school colors are red and royal, and the basketball team wants their logo to be two colors, red and royal. So let's just change um, for sampling purposes here. So now I have a two color basketball design and a one color hockey design. Okay. Still do that because it's cheaper to put it on the sheet and maximize your sheet space as it is to do a separate order for the hockey team and a separate order for the basketball team. Now you're going to pay the two color sheet price. You'll see that the cost went up. But again, the one color image is almost free because you're charging the basketball team the two color pricing. Does that all make sense to everyone? So there's, there's a lot of ways that you can maximize your profit by using this online designer and using screen printed transfers. I hope that this was beneficial to you. I hope you learned a little bit more about screen printed transfers and how it could become either a good primary or secondary option to add some profits to your business.